Well, welcome to the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. Once again, I'm your host, Frank Array, brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. I have a guest on today's show. Happy to have him here, Don Oberly. Give you a big cheer, Don, for being here. Thanks so much. He's with Credit IQ, the CEO of Credit IQ, by the way. And uh, yeah, we're going to dive into some stuff. We're going to keep this short and sweet, but we're going to let you know what they've got going on over in their neck of the woods and how it can help you out as, an, as a loan originator. They are unique in what they do. They're not your everyday, normal sort of credit repair type of company. Uh, they've got some cool stuff. So we'll get started right now. Once again, we're brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. So Don, how are you, my friend? I'm doing good, Frank. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Just uh, I'll let everybody know that Don and I have known each other, gosh, for probably 20 years. Uh, yeah. We cross paths, I think, locally in my neck of the woods at some very small event or whatever. But of course, you've always been a national speaker, trainer, that kind of thing throughout the mortgage industry. And uh, you've been doing you know a lot of great stuff for a really, really long time. Uh, we got reconnected fairly recently and uh, you had your AI bot call me or whatever. And uh, I did. And um yeah, and I followed up or called back or whatever. I can't remember how, how it all went down, but we got reconnected again. And we were talking a little bit about uh, Credit IQ and the you know, what you guys have going on for loan originators. And I thought we'd just walk people through that. You know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, tell us what Credit IQ does and then, you know, how, how loan officers can take advantage of the other things that you've got going on. So take it away, my friend. Sure. Thanks for having me, Frank. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, for 34 years, uh, we've been working exclusively with mortgage professionals. Um, that's been our niche the entire time. My background uh, was in mortgage banking 35, 36 years ago on investing. And then that's when I, you know, uh, saw issues on, on clients' credit reports. And credit repair didn't exist back then. So, uh, uh, and if, you know, it's, it's, it's a, little, a bit of rocket science, as a matter of fact. My background uh, is aerospace. That's what I went to college for. Mm -hmm. So I so you got that I, going for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So, you know, there was no credit repair for dummies. And so I experimented with the bureaus, figured out how they work when I was a mortgage banker. And uh, within six months, I was able to remove uh, a paid collection from utility bill off my report. And a light bulb went off like, okay, I understand investing, I understand real estate, I understand credit. And then I, re I found out research per capita, the Bay Area where I met you, uh, um, had the most mortgage bankers in the entire nation. Hmm. And, uh, and so, um, uh, you know, so that's why we, we made our core focus around mortgage banking. So myself and my team knew exactly what's needed for refis purchases, you know, the market as the market shifts. Yeah. Um, and, and so, um, so what we exclusively do is, is we, uh, have a, a very holistic approach meeting with, um, uh, the borrowers, uh, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, in a one to three hour Zoom meeting. And okay. then we'll holistically go through their financials, their DTIs. We're going to pull a um, a mortgage soft pull report, yeah. Yeah. merge, Yeah. And then we're going to go line by line to that sucker and tell them exactly what to do, what not to do. Uh, and the goal is to get them at least minimum 740 to 770 on the lender score. Nice. So, and then we yeah. update the loan officer uh, every step of the way with a new mortgage trimmered soft pull. So there's no guesswork. So that's kind of in a nutshell. So in a nutshell, a that so loan officer gets this borrower, needs some help, ships them, you know, says, hey, Don, can you guys help these people out? You engage with them. You get them on a Zoom call. Um, you know, you go through everything. You get them kind of set up to make this thing right, right? To get mm -hmm. this thing all fixed up. Uh, just, just real, real, maybe you don't have this off the top of your head, but just curious, uh, what's the... You know, I'm not going to say what's the success ratio in getting the scores up. I'm asking what's the success ratio in getting the people on the phone and actually having that conversation. What what's that? And then the success ratio of actually getting them to buy into the plan because I know those are the big two biggest hurdles when it comes yes. to credit repair. Number one, will they even answer the phone and talk to us? Right. Number right. two, if I get if I can give them a presentation, will they buy into the program? Right. You know, the number right. three. If I if they buy into the program, they actually do it. What's the success ratio there? So there's three conversions there that I'm kind of curious about. What do you think that they are for you guys? Yeah, that's great. That's a great question. Um, yeah. So the key is advocacy. So we edify the loan officer seven times in our coaching. And then we just ask the loan officer to edify us, meaning we have a portal that we, and this is key, is um, uh, rather than give our name and number out, because that's not a referral. Uh, as you say, hey, we have a script that we give the, the bars and we let them know that you'll let them know in the script in the portal that Grace is going to contact them immediately. And uh, do I have your permission to have her reach out so you can get some some coaching? 
And then you'll just plug in the data to the portal, name, phone number, email, maybe a note if you want. You don't need to attach a credit report because we're going to pull a soft pull anyway. Uh, and then and then once the loan officer hits the, the send button, they get a text message in five seconds from Grace. Then she calls it within five to 10 minutes. So that I figured out a few years ago during COVID. So that yeah. means that about as long as you edify and say, hey, Grace is going to contact you right away. Yeah. Right. Then then we're booking an appointment you, typically about 70 percent of the time. So that's good. Book. So that's the that's first hurdle. High. Yeah, yes. because a lot of times it, it's I like what she's saying. So basically, loan officer gets to create an account in a portal. There's a script there. The best way to hand them off to Grace, right, at your company, mm -hmm. loan officer says, "Hey, we're gonna try to help you out. Look, I'm gonna refer you over to some of my friends. They take care. They take care of my clients that are in this situation. Grace is gonna reach out to you if I have your permission. Do, you, do I have your permission to have Grace give you a call? Because she'll reach out to you right away and kind of get the coaching start on how we get this thing fixed. They say yes. Loan officer puts. Gr puts contacts, name, phone number, or email or whatever into the system, mm -hmm. pushes go, your system kicks in, they get a text, they get a call, and you've had a, you've got about a 70% conversion getting them on the phone, right? Getting Start on having, the phone. That's, and so that's the big hurdle. So 70% there is really, really good. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the next conversion. You get them on the phone. What percentage would you say actually say, okay, let's, let's try, you know, what percentage would you say that actually get into the system and start participating? Um, so our, uh, once they, the, the appointment scheduled, <clears throat> so we'll chase them for 30 days, five times. So we don't want to, you know, a couple times the first week, yeah, text, yeah. phone call, email. Yeah. So once they schedule the coaching appointment, our close ratio, get this is yeah. 82%. Okay. So 82%, 82% say, okay, I'm in, let me get, let me get fixed yep. up. Okay. Yep. So we got it. Okay. So let me make sure I understand this right. So we got a 70% conversion to getting them on the phone right but then then yeah. the, but that's not the consultation no that's so just you're scheduling, scheduling the, appointment. the appointment so then there's the next ratio or conversion like how many of those people 70 percent of them will answer but how many of those people go to the go to the consultation would you say what percentage um out of the 70 percent i would say uh uh, depending, I would say at least 60% of the seven okay. will book an appointment. We'll okay, say, great. Okay, yes, I'm, I'm in. Let's look at our calendar. Good question. Wow. You're yeah. Well. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just curious, you know, like, yeah. so they book the appointment. How many of those people show up to that appointment? You know, there's, there's these little ratios. And I, the reason I'm extrapolating this down is just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just extrapolating this information for the, for the originators that are listening to understand. Okay. It, you know, if I, if I send, 10 people over there, I'm going to wind up maybe with, you know, if all goes according to plan, X amount of people will actually get into the program and be able to be repaired. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I'm just trying to walk down that path. I'm just, and it's mm -hmm. purely out of curiosity. I know we didn't talk about this. I'm putting you out totally on the spot. It's <laughs> to okay. know your conversion ratio. I better know after 34 years. Right, <laughs> right. So, right. so, so, yeah. so, okay. So we get 70% to answer out of those guys, about 60% and to set up an appointment and about out of those guys, about 60% show up at the appointment. Yeah. And then when you have the appointment, you get about 82% to buy in. Yep. Buy in. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Cause so, we end up becoming like their priests. I mean, they tell us six. Know, so out of 10, out of, out of 10, you're looking at four or five, you know, should, you know, if I was, if I was going to do the math, right. Right. So 50%, about 50%. Okay. Yeah. So out of 10, about, okay. About mm -hmm. five, get into the program, right. Mm -hmm. Get into the program. And out of those guys, those who make it to completion and actually get their stuff fixed, another 50% or what would you say? Good, good question. So um, prior to us doing the one to three hour one-on-one -on -one in depth coaching, all we were doing was fixing credit. 40% um, of the clients that were sent to us by mortgage professionals, even the, the super jumbos, you know, million dollars a year, whatever, they were making mistakes too, right? So we were, I, I analyzed the data and 40% of the clients pre-coaching we're screwing up again, new lates, maybe they just managed their DTF, something was wrong, right? So I went to my team 32 years ago and said, we got to teach people how to fish, how the scores really work. You know, not what, not what my FICO tells you, but what really is going to work for that family. Once we instituted it, I measured it a year later and we dropped it down to nine and a half percent success rate. In other words, not only nine and a half percent of people were making mistakes again. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes, I get you. Yeah. Escrows. You fixed. So, yeah, you fixed that. Yeah. So yeah. that's our flagship is the upfront coaching before they even yeah. sign up with us. Yeah. Right. Got it. Right. Got it.
Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, that does make sense. So pretty good. So let me ask you this too. And I, I know you've got other things that you help with, right? For originators to help. Now we'll talk about that here in a second, but, but it, so it, it's, is it creditiq.com? Is that where they would go to? Uh, creditiq.org. Org. Okay. Yeah. Creditiq.org. I'll put that on here so I don't forget. Okay. So creditiq.org. So an originator can go there. Can he set up an account for free? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll give you a, another link that you put in the description as well. Sure. Give me, uh, give me a link. Yeah. This actually uh, the portal just for uh, loan officers to submit. Okay. okay. A lot of people are going to hear this just audibly. So oh, okay. and we'll, we'll gotcha. certainly put the link in there if they're, if, okay. the, if, so guys, if you're listening on the mortgage, uh, uh, if you're listening on the loan officer podcast network through marketing animals, if they're listening there, Don, it's actually on the screen and we can put links and things like that underneath. But a lot of this is heard on Spotify, iTunes, that kind of a thing. So in that case, if they're in their car right now and they're on iTunes listening to this, right. Is it, can they just go to creditiq.org to kind of find their way into the loan officer portal? Yes, if you're looking yeah. for the portal just for, for your production, mm -hmm. you go to creditiq.org and then go all the way down to the bottom of the homepage and you'll mm -hmm. see a commercial account link at the very bottom, commercial, commercial accounts. You click that and it goes right to the mortgage professional uh, portal. Okay, so you good. Just save that to your screen and or your phone and that's how you submit them across. You're good to go. I like this. So this is this is pretty easy. So they get they go to the commercial accounts there. They can get that's where they can f complete their profile or whatever, get their logins or whatever. Correct. Right. That's exactly so they know. Right. So then you yeah, anything that comes is coming from me. That kind of a thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is really cool. So um so yeah, it's nice to be able to hand off like that. You guys have really good conversion ratios. You worked hard to get all that done. So you are indeed helping them out. And. You were saying there's the edification piece, right? So yes. So and what elaborate on that just a little bit more because I think that's what really helps in this conversion process, right? So tell me about that. Yeah. So so when you're edifying us, you know, uh, you'll use the script. Uh, there's actual script there, um, and then you'll just edify and say, you know, they've been doing this for you know 34 years. Um, uh, they're not only going to you know counsel you on the credit score enhancement, but also any other funny, uh, legal, need, anything you need. You're gonna, so there's an education process in the script. Right. Um, and um, and it, as long as you can sell the, to show up for the coaching, mm. you know, it'll say you're going to you're going to get a Harvard education, everything credit and lending. Mm. And it says they're, they're going to keep me updated every step of the way. So I know when you're ready for funding. That's all in the okay. script. OK. Now, when we edify you uh, uh, as a loan officer, there's seven. Uh, edification processes and the be, be, all the way throughout the entire process. Okay. So um, we're going to let them know that because, uh, for example, if, if Frank, if you sent the, when you sent a client over, it towards the end, one of the applications is, hey, um, you might want to thank Frank uh, because um, we're he's negotiated with us. We're going to add your significant other in this program at no charge. Compliments of him. Mm, so okay. that's one of the seven applications. So so what you can extrapolate what I just said is. It's always two for one, mm. right? But mm. that's because of the relationship you built with my firm, mm. right? So we're edifying you. Mm -hmm. Got it. We do, we do that seven times in presentations. So that's more great. You can edify us, but then vice versa. That's a true partnership. Reinforcing, a, reinforcing the loan officer, you know, as they go through the process, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When it comes time, uh, and you and every they feel and you feel like, hey, we've done it. You know, we've accomplished our mm -hmm. goal, and and that kind of thing. What's the process to hand them back? To the originator so what we do is um uh whether they book an appointment or not since i used to do mortgage banking i get that when you work hard for that uh referral you want to know whether they sign up or not i mean right the, the biggest thing i hear from law officers from my competitors is that um I, they go into a black hole right mm. and so we're really high tech but we're also very high touch so even when we book the appointment you're notified when they show up for the appointment, whether they sign up or not, you know, 82% of the time they will, mm -hmm. you get an email within five minutes letting you know they're starting. This is what we covered. This is what we're with the cost savings, the ROI on it. And they're starting today or tomorrow. And in 45 days, you're going to get your first mortgage tri merge soft pull on this date, like clockwork. And then every 90 days thereafter, right? And so nice. Our, this is really good. Our, yeah. And so that's how you're going to get your, your soft. And there's no guesswork. Now, Frank, you know that the soft pulls, 
went up to almost 100 bucks, 75 to 100 bucks for a tri merge for three, for, for two bar. It went four times as the price as of January. Okay. A lot of loan officers are really angry right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Okay. We're anyway, that cost we're paying for is it. That's it, great. It's yeah. Cool. That's, that's great. Yeah. Hey, um, cool. So listen, we got like five minutes left here okay. uh, to, right. to wrap this up. I know there's other stuff that you offer, other, other yeah. ways you can help. Start, give us some some insights to what those things are. Sure. Rapid fire is in that initial meeting. We're going to uncover, um, we're going to ask them uh, scripted questions like not, after we coach them on the algorithms, what to do, what not to do, to let them know how long it's going to take for us to get their scores up to 740, 770, the learning score. We're going to ask them about their taxes. So are you current on your taxes? And if they say no, we're going to, because we don't know, Frank, if you've got a referral source for that already, we'll just step your toes. So we'll say, hey, did Frank, you know, uh, refer you to his CPA who's a tax attorney? If they say no, we'll say, well, do you have a tax attorney who's a CPA you love and trust? If they say no, then we'll say, then you can use ours because we not only need to enhance your scores and your DTIs, but also we need to take care of these taxes because then Frank's not going to be able to close escrow if you haven't right. your taxes in two yeah, years, right? Yeah. So the point is, the net net is we've got a CPA tax attorney can work on clients national. We're national, mostly California, but we're national. Um, they can help. He can file corporate or personal taxes, right? You can also deal with the IRS or the state for tax liens, right? Um, and then we've also got a bankruptcy division. So mm. if a client's in really bad shape and there's no way in hell we're closing like, us, this is the soon, answer. <laughs> yeah. We'll get the saber sort out, do a chapter yeah. seven or whatever. Yeah. So we do yeah. bankruptcy filings as well, right? Mm -hmm. If you need that, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we've been doing that for almost 30 years. Yeah. Uh, we also do bad debt settlements. So in other words, if you've got a condition to close and a, a, a big fat collection or judgment popped out of nowhere, then we can have our attorney go, attorneys go in there and negotiate typically for 20 to 30 cents of the dollar. And then what we do is we just pay that at close of escrow. That way it doesn't drop a score. So mm -hmm. that's a whole nother division secret weapon if you need it is bad debt. So we don't negotiate on good debt, but only it's bad debt. Is right, a condition to right, close. And you right, tell us right. to do it. That's okay? cool. Yeah. The final thing is we have a marketing division for, for our loan professionals. So okay, let's talk about that. These events, this is huge. And I really want you guys to reach out and you'll get on my calendar. When you, when you sign up online, just tell Grace, Hey, I want to be on Don's calendar. Cause I want to talk about how you guys can feed me business. Right. So yeah. for 20 years, we've been doing uh, large events at churches, at corporations, We've done Caltrans, if you know who they are, right? Mm -hmm. We've done police unions, fire unions, any any large events. We, we do these events called real estate financial fitness workshops, where my team talks about the credit and financial fitness opportunities, how to enhance the score and build wealth through real estate. And then you or, or your team would talk about the uh, real estate opportunities out there and different types of loans that are available, reverse mortgage, et cetera. The cool part is we give you those leads. We don't ask it for a referral fee. We just ask for your loyalty. When you run across a client who could benefit from our financial fitness coaching, we'll be your trusted go-to source for that. So I'd love to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you talking about how you get involved in those. That's pretty cool. So when you say it's your marketing department, and so mm -hmm. you're helping with the marketing materials to get that event going, to get the no, people- we're booking them. You're booking them. Right. You're dealing, you're collecting, you're getting the people, you're getting the bodies in. Yeah. So we arrange the, the meeting at the church. Usually we'll get 300 couples in a room for church. I love doing the church stuff we do because those are really fruitful. Yeah. Uh, whether it's the church or the corporation is employee benefit or firemen's unions, police unions, we're actually scheduling it. See, it's hard for a loan officer or realtor to book these because everybody in the brothers, a loan officer or realtor, right? So we just bring you with us, right? Cause we need you as part of that education. Does it make sense? It does. So we're having the, 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 the corporation or the fireman union, police union, the church do all the advertising. We just show up for it, whether it's zoom or in person, we prefer to do in person because it's more, it's just more powerful. But if we, if we have to, we'll, we'll do Zoom as well. So, so I'm a loan person. I'm working, uh, there's a particular agent that I'm trying to get some business out of Powerhouse. They're awesome. We've got a little relationship started. I want to put it over the top. I can say, hey, you know, why don't we put on one of these real estate financial fitness workshops? Mm -hmm. um, basically, I can get the ball rolling for us. Uh, we can target uh, an employer or a company or a church, and uh, we're going to get it all going. We're going to get the we're going to get everything in there. Just you and I, 
Miss Realtor. We just have to show up and be the mortgage and real estate experts um, to do our, give our pitch, whatever, that, whatever that might be. And then of course, anyone who showed up, we can follow up with all those people. Only caveat is, is we've got this loyalty thing. My partners are credit IQ and we just got to make sure we find anybody who needs some help that we're sending them over to those guys. I mean, how's that sound? I mean, what realtor would say no to that? Exactly. So I'll be exactly. setting up my portal this afternoon, Don, just Thank so you. you know, and Thank I'll be you, booking sir. some some uh, uh, real estate financial fitness workshops, just so you know, because Perfect. that is brilliant, brother. It doesn't cost me anything as the original. Nope. Okay, nope. man, that's that, that, that that's a home run. Yep. Yeah, that that's a home run. Now, do you do these all over the country, or just in California? All over Cal most 80% California, you know, Virginia, Texas, Florida. But you can do pretty much you know, anywhere, especially if anywhere. it's a Zoom. Especially if it's a Zoom, Zoom, then yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, that is really, really nice, man. Don, uh, fantastic. So best way to get to connected is simply go to the website, right? Go to, to the website. Creditiq.org. Creditiq.org. Mm -hmm. Remember to set up the loan officer portal. You go to the very bottom, you're gonna see commercial accounts. So you go to the very bottom of the website, commercial accounts, click there, get your profile set up. Engage with Don and his team with Grace, Don and Grace, and um, you know, start setting up one of these workshops, man. Why? Why would we not do that? I mean, that's just like insanity to not do this. I'm doing it immediately, so awesome. I'm going to keep you busy. Just seeing. So Thank know. you, brother. It's always good to see you. <laughs> hey, man, Don. Thanks for being on the podcast today. Really appreciate it, my friend. All right. Thank good, you, brother. Good, good hey, to hook hey, up. By the way, thank you uh, for that uh, Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Amazing. I mean, thank you. I, I'm really impressed. You've thank you so much for that. Job with That's you, right. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate All that. Right. That's right. Go to loanofficerbreakfastclub.com if you don't do that already. Free uh, mortgage coaching, 30 minutes a day, Monday through Friday, because why not? <laughs> why would you not do that? Right. So show up. We have tons of people showing up. Uh, every day, you know, probably averaging around 500 people a day show up on that. It's just a really good time. But OK, but for the sake of this, come on, let's get let's get over there. Let's get to creditiq.org. Go down to the bottom commercial accounts. Get your account set up. Start talking to Don and Grace. Figure this thing out. Start holding some workshops. Why would you not do that? And of course, if you get people that need their help, send them on over there. Seven points of, F, uh, of, of uh, what do we call it? Uh, efficacy. Efficacy. Seven points of efficacy on their end. I mean, come on. This is good stuff. Don, thanks for being here on the podcast, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Frank. Good to see you, brother. You too. All right. For the All rest right. of you, have a great one. And we'll catch up with you here next week on the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>